Welcome to linuxhelp.com. I am going to explain about how to combine several small partitions into one virtual storage using MHDDFS driver. MHDDFS driver is a few space driver that combines several mount points into one virtual storage. Before installing the MHDDFS driver, we need to install the Ebel repository and command is yum install Ebel release. Now we need to install some dependency packages to install the MHDDFS driver. The first dependency package is fuse devil. The command is yum install fuse devil. The next dependency package is gcc yum install gcc space gcc iphone c plus plus. The next package is glibc devil yum install glib c devil this package is already installed the next dependency package is ut hash devil now we need to download the mhddfs driver the download link is here. You can download using the wget command. wget. Now the download link. Now the driver package is downloaded. Now extract the package. The command is star iphone zxvf the package name the package is extracted now move to the directory mhtt fs-0.1 now to install the mhtt fs driver with the command make and press enter now the driver is installed. Now we need to copy the now we need to copy the mhttfs to the user bin directory cp mhttfs space user bin Now we need to copy this to user local bin. My file is copied. Now I am going to list all the mounted partitions. Command is df-h. I am going to combine the mount point slash slash new slash test into a virtual storage. First you need to create the mount point for the virtual storage. mkdir slash mnt slash rituals underscore storage to mount the ritual storage and by combining the smaller partitions use the following command mhtd fs now the partitions slash new comma slash comma slash test these are the partitions I'm going to combine you can add several partition to it space the virtual storage mount point slash mnt virtual storage 
space hyphen o space all over the the all over the option is used to make the virtual storage visible to other users now run the command now the smaller partitions are added to the virtual storage now we can view the mounted partitions df-h now we can see the virtual storage added to the partition to make the virtual storage mount permanent you need to add an entry to the etc fs tab file vim etc fs tab and at the last line is add the following mht dfs hash now the partitions slash new comma slash comma slash test now the virtual storage mount point it is slash mnt slash virtual storage and fuse defaults 0 0 now save the file now the virtual storage mount is added permanently I am going to restart the system to verify it. We can check the mounted partitions in df-h. Now we can see the virtual storage mount is mounted permanently. Now to unmount the virtual storage, you can use the following command umount slash mnt virtual storage. Now the virtual storage is unmounted. You can see this. There's no virtual storage in the mounted partitions. Thank you for watching.